Good morning, traders. Welcome to another rundown of Technical Talk with me, Aaron Hill. Today is the 5th of November and time is now 8.22 a.m. GMT. And of course, it's the day traders get to see the latest U.S. employment situation report scheduled to be released at 12.30 GMT today. Headline non-farm payroll change is expected to have risen in October by around 450,000 payrolls. Bear in mind that September's, that September's reading came in considerably lower uh, than expectations at 194,000 payrolls. As for, as for the US unemployment rates, that's expected to have ticked lower to 4.7% in October, down from September's 4.8% print. Uh, just having a quick spot check across the markets this morning. U.S. equity index futures are mostly higher. Uh, European cash markets uh, are, are mostly, uh, sorry, U.S. equity index. Yes, U.S. equity index futures are mostly higher. European cash markets also mostly higher. The FTSE 100 out in London is up by 0.3%. The DAX is currently flat. The CAC 40 out of France is up by 0.3%. Uh, the um, gold and silver spot markets uh, are mostly higher. Uh, Risk-sensitive currencies, the Aussie dollar and New Zealand dollar, are trading in line with risk sentiment. The pound dollar is also modestly lower following the response to the Bank of England. Uh, surprise, uh, Bank of England surprising markets by holding rates at record uh, lows uh, yesterday, catching many off guard. And finally, the US dollar index is currently trading flat. Now, with that in mind, let's head over to the charts. As you can see, we have the euro dollar on the screen. We're going to be focusing again on the major currency pairs uh, this morning. So euro dollar is still trading within prime support on the weekly time frame at 1473.1583. Now, Buyers have made little attempt to come in from this area, which tells me we are possibly heading lower longer term. And the level to be mindful of is the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement at 1281. On the daily time frame, however, we do have Fibonacci support at 1420, 1522. Now, do note that this area is clipped to the lower side of this weekly, weekly prime support. Um, so this could potentially form a defense for buyers. Okay, on to the, uh, on to the uh, H4 timeframe. We are coming off Quasimodo support. But again, there's not been much of an effort from buyers here um, to, to, to push higher from this level, although we did hold off of it yesterday. On the H1 timeframe, interestingly, we did come off another, another Quasimodo support at 1533. Now, look at current price action. We are seeing the potential for an AB equals CD pattern into resistance at 1575 on the H1. Now, this is an important resistance given it is a Quasimodo support turned resistance, and these have a high probability of reacting. Now, failure here obviously means we're likely headed for the 116 barrier. Now, off technical note, on the H1 timeframe, the RSI, we did form bullish divergence yesterday. And we also broke above, uh, formed a bullish failure swing, which is the 3947 uh, resistance line breached. Um, this, this all adds to the bullish flavor on the shorter term chart. Now, heading over to the Aussie dollar, we have had considerable selling this week. Uh, we're currently down by one spot, 8% on the week. And this is, and, and price has left uh, has left the uh, prime resistance at 78.49, 75.99 on the weekly time frame unchallenged. So we could be heading back to 69.68, 72.42. Uh, that's a prime support on the weekly time frame. Now, what's interesting is the harmonic play on the daily time frame here. We 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 tested the 100%, as you can see, the 100% Fibonacci extension. Uh, projection, excuse me, at 75.51 and have since withdrew um, to, and, and recently in recent hours tested the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement. And that comes in at around 73.80-ish. Now for anyone that does, does follow harmonics, uh, in particular Scott Carney, his work, uh, you will note that it's typically a, a traditional take profit target is is formed by taking the a Fibonacci retracement from legs from the leg A, a to D 
and extending the 38.2% and 61.8%. Uh, uh, yeah, and, and, and these form the basis for take profit targets. Now, the 38.2% is where traders traditionally will move stops to break even. So sellers short this market here will likely have their stops to break even at this point with the 61.8% representing the second and usually final take profit target. Now, on the... H4 time frame, we do have room to move lower. We did come through demand at, uh, sorry, this was a decision point at 74.19, 74.10. And we have since retested the lower side of this area on the H4 scale with room to continue pushing lower to the quasi mother support at 73.32. So short term, we do still have room to move lower despite daily time frame. Uh, touching gloves with the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement. Now onto the um, onto the H1 time frame. We are now below the 74 handle on the on the Aussie dollar, and uh, also we have we, we are we are seeing quasi mother support at 73.92, also under pressure. Now this also this just adds to the bearish flavor seen on the H4 scale and could. Despite recently forming bullish divergence out of the H1 RSI, we could still likely be moving lower shorter term. Okay, on to the dollar yen. There's not really much to report here, as we have been reasonably stale since hitting the uh, since since about October 20th. But nevertheless, we are still testing a weekly resistance at 114.38. This is a key level. If we should if we should break above this. Uh, this this level now do bear in mind this is a considerable resistance uh, which has held price lower since the since the beginning of may 2017 so a break above this is 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 likely to raise a few eyebrows anyway uh further buying north of here it, it is likely to target the 1.272 percent uh, Fibonacci projection at uh, 116.09. Now, on the daily time frame, as I said in previous uh, 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 technical technical talks, we we uh, we are still we are still held lower by the uh, Fibonacci structure around 114.61. Now, further downside on this time frame has supply turn demand at 112.66, 112.072 to target, and this is closely shadowed by a decision point at 111.18, 111.79. Now heading over to the H4 time frame, we this decision point at 113.28, 113.55, despite having the lower edge clipped on the 28th of October, um, heading into the US session, has proved a, a valid, valid floor to this market. Now, as you can see, though, buyers are, are appearing to dry up here. Uh, the reactions are becoming smaller, so um, I do anticipate a potential break of this area and possible follow through to support at 112.63. Now, on the H1 time frame, look, there's not really much I can see going going on on this on on this chart. We do have price of, of clearly reacting from a quasi mother support at 113.59, and this could eventually eventually uh, pull the currency pair to the 114 level. Now, again, do, do be aware of this quasi mother resistance at 114.26 above the level. Other than this, uh, these are the two levels I'll be watching during the NFP. Uh, sorry, these are the three levels I'll be watching during the NFP. Okay, heading over to the pound. Now, this was really interesting. Obviously, yesterday was a... Was a um, was where the pound steamrolled lower in, in wake of the BOE, BOE surprise. Uh, currently, the pound is down by one spot six percent. And for anyone that has been following the market insights over the past couple of weeks, I have been saying this supply turn demand at one thirty six twenty nine, one thirty four fifty six is vulnerable. Now, this is not only because we probe below the uh, below the area on the twenty seventh of September, but we also have a double top pattern in play, and uh, which had its neckline broken in, I believe, the middle of August. So with that in mind, as you can see, prices is, is on the brink of taking out this area once again. Uh, we are looking at the uh, double top profit objective around 131, should we form a decisive close below here. Now, in terms of the uh, daily time frame, trend line resistance obviously helped secure the uh, bearish presence. This was positioned just, just below the 200-day uh, simple moving average at 38.45. Now, yesterday broke through, cleanly broke through support at 36.02 and is now on the doorstep of support coming in from 134.49. 
For those who read my market, my daily market outlook uh, yesterday, will note that I highlighted this uh, the, this Fibonacci collection at uh, which is com uh, com composed of a 100% Fibonacci projection at uh, 34.91 and a 1.618% Fibonacci expansion at 34.79. As you can see, price did find some mild respite off of this this area here, but as I said, as I did highlight we are likely heading below here simply due to the bigger picture. Look, the weekly time frame showing clear signals that we are heading lower. And obviously we have still have room to move lower on the daily time frame to support at 34.49. With that, we are look, I am, I am looking at Quasimodo support from 34.47. Uh, which is and and which is something I did also highlight in the uh, daily market outlook is to be aware of poten a potential bearish scenario forming at the underside of the round number one thirty five on the H one time frame and as you can see this has occurred um, in in the last hour and we are now on the essentially on the doorstep of the uh, H four Quasimodo support which is essentially the representing the same. Uh, level as the daily support level. So this is a key support to be watchful of for any shorts uh, south of the 135 uh, level. And with that, let me just quickly take a, a look at the dollar index. Obviously, yes, the, um, the dollar index rose higher, rose to near 2021 peaks yesterday. And this is following the uh, trend line support test uh, that happened, um, I think it was last week. Uh, this was a point of convergence I highlighted and uh, price did react nicely to this area. Now, do be aware of the daily resistance at 9465 uh, going into NFP and um, uh, as a potential whips or above 2021 peaks, which are currently at 9456. Now, with that, thank you. Thank you very much for taking the time to join me today. Um, have a productive session and um, I'll catch you all again on Monday.